Hello and welcome back. It has been a minute since my last video. Um, as you can see, things have changed around me yet again. Um, it's also just me here now. Here we are. I'm just gonna dive right into it. This video is gonna be chopped up over a period of time. What I'm doing is segmented. I can't do it all in one sitting. So what I have on the table in front of me is a toothbrush, a mask, um, some Tupperware, gloves. Uh, you may be wondering what we're doing and I'm going to be starting the process of cleaning a dead bird. Yes, a dead bird. Oh, snappy. Okay, so Tupperware. From what I've read, there's a bunch of different ways. There's like a 24 hours soak, you can just put them in hydrogen peroxide. Um, some people soak them in soapy or whatever water for like months or weeks to really get all of that dead muscle and skin off there and just really have the bone, which helps it preserve over time. Um, I'm just going to kind of see how this goes. I am going to be taking bones out of this bag. I haven't looked at them since the day I got them. Here it is. Um, I got this. I was at a photo shoot. It was like dead or dying and we thought we heard something else in there. So, got it taken care of. Anyway, it ends up being like squirrels. A bunch of squirrels. And these squirrels were living off of rotisserie chickens um <laughs> birds i'm guessing so here's one of them you can see that it's very crusty and does have tissue on it so this is why i'm really gonna want to soak them oh it's a little wishbone yeah tissue's all here i don't know how i'm doubting that's gonna hold okay so this is also kind of together i'm just gonna leave it and let it do its thing because this is, this is like has this tiny little like piece of tissue again that is holding this thing together right now so we are just going to with the little space that we have in here just kind of put them in right they'll fit sub everyone everyone's in here all right i have some pre-mixed soapy water beside me um that i pre-made before all of this so we are going to, I'm going to put these on here, fill this up because I don't want to like cause a bunch of ruckus as I fill. Okay, so here's our bird bath. Um, I'm just going to start with that. I will add more if I need to. So here's bird brain number one, Uno. Ew, there's a maggot coming out of its skull. And I guess that's that. So now that they are in the container, I let them soak and I will check back in with you guys probably tomorrow. So, yeah. <sighs> okay, we're back. It has been 48 hours. Um, my face is crazy. I just did a look for Instagram if you want to see the pictures, maybe some of the TikToks. I'm not that hard to find. So, bones. Um, today we are taking the bones out of this solution of just Dawn dish soap and water. I'm gonna see what state they're in, how much tissue has still been hung onto, how much has been let go. Um, I'm gonna try to clean them up the best I can, see where they are at, see if they need another soaking. If they do, I'm just gonna pour more water in, shut it up, and continue on and check back in. Otherwise, um, we will be putting them into a hydrogen peroxide solution to further clean and whiten them. Some condensation beautiful set that here i'm gonna grab you guys and show you this so you see what i'm also looking at right now that's what we have going on right now get some good paper towel asmr ready okay no more touching my face now obviously i'm just gonna wing it we're gonna wing it 
I'm done. There we go. I'm just going to try to pull it. They're definitely going to need to soak longer, I think. I don't know how long these were, where they were sitting. But there's quite a bit of tissue still on here. This kind of reminds me when I used to work in a deli, or just like in any kitchen, honestly. And you're deboning chicken, except I'm detissuing the bone. It's great. It really is great. Oh, that piece isn't really wanting to come off. Ew, these are like the parts on wings I don't like to eat, so I don't really like to eat meat. Go big, big, big. Wow, okay. Anyways, um, I hate that feeling of tendons and like fat. So like this is, this is a lot. Get off. Ew, do you hear that? Okay. This all in here. I'm not gonna make up fucking do that the way you show palettes. No, thank you. We are just going to rip her in. You know, the more I aim this at myself, the more I want to put a mask on. Like, I keep looking down because I don't want it to, like, get me in the face. And I want more soap and then what's in already in that thing. I'm going to add my bird. We're just going to let it soak again and I'll see you guys in the next few days. Okay, it has been a while. It has been like longer than three days, less than a month, more than a week, like two, almost three. So I really need to get this done. It's been sitting for a while. I probably should have changed the water. Scared. Add a little bit of fresh soap and hot water while we just kind of clean them up a bit more while we get them ready to be bleached. Okay. So, between now and the last time, we spoke. I've been busy, busy, busy. I've been doing a lot of makeup look. I started my first stream. It was really awkward, so that's great. I guess one cool thing that since, oh my, look at this, like gelatin. Well, that's a lot better than it was the last time. I'm guessing that's the stuff we've been wanting to like peel off. So we're gonna do that. Since I got these bones, I've had some of the most interesting conversations about them. Is that the dispensary picking up some of my medical and talking about my bird bones. First, he tried to call me Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, second, he told me that he came from a really small town of like 700 people. So they had a very small school, of course. And apparently he had like this really creepy, crazy science teacher. And he like just had all the kids that would go hunting, bring in all their like dead animal bones and stuff. Anyways, this teacher ends up getting fired. I, he didn't say it for what reason, but over that summer, they shut off the electricity in like the science lab or whatever. And it was just after they had fired the science teacher and there was an entire freezer of just dead animals in there. So um, the next yeast like summer coming back, um, yeah, that was one of the craziest things I think I've ever heard, like out of a personal experience. And it all happened. I learned all this information because I decided I wanted to clean a bird. Scrubbing some ribs here. The most messed up part about this is I just really want to get this done so I can have a cookie and take a bath. All I want. 
cookie and a bat. And here I am playing with bird bones again. Ugh, this makes me think of my own spine. I have a lot of back problems and like I've seen the x-rays and they say that the back issues I have with like where the issue is located, like it's not the worst, but like for my age group, it's not great. I deal with quite a bit of issues and this is like all this jelly stuff in between is like little tailbone is like, mm, wish I had some of that. I think I might just end up keeping those three pieces cause, and maybe a leg. Can I keep a leg? I just like your little foot. But Ah. Oh, I just felt a tendon go through it. I don't think I can do it anymore. I wanted to keep so much of this bird, but I think I just realized what I have is okay. And I'm a little traumatized. did not like that at all. I'm the type of person where if I bite into even a piece of meat that's like weird, I can't eat it anymore in this. Nope, no more. That's okay, I'm good. Just gonna make sure I want my wishbone. I do want that. Cut the rest. I'm done. If there's any like little bones in here, maybe I'll grab them, but like, nope, actually I don't, no, no, okay, done. So what I'm gonna do is dump this into this bucket. I'm going to dispose of those bones. I'm gonna rinse this out, fill that with water and some of that hydrogen peroxide. Um, it's hair developer. Bleach is not good for them. I could use ammonia, but I don't like the smell of that, so I'm gonna use hydrogen peroxide. Be right back. I think I deserve a cookie after that. So it says I need to, s oh, excuse me, the cookie was good. You can tell I feel better about the situation now. I had a cookie, I regrouped, and we're back. Um, I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna add mostly of my 20, some of the 10. It says I need like a 12. So by adding this 20 and the rest will be 10, it's still being diluted by the water. I sound crazy. I had a cookie and now I have energy. Um, ha. Okay. Just adding it all in here. It's at a one to three ratio. So it's going to be closer to about two cups water and one cup of developer. So that has a refreshing fragrance. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to stir it up a little bit and then I'm just going to submerge them. I'm just going to hope for the best here. So that being said, Sayonara. Let's see. So there's that. So I'm just gonna let this sit for, like I said, 24 hours. And then just kind of submerge them a bit better. Ooh, I can kind of see they're already whitening a little bit. How the bubblies are. Cool. We're gonna try to get them as white as we can. Like I said, this is a learning process more than anything at this point, and possibly a science experiment for art. Because I want to use them in art in some way. So there we are. So, all right, be back in 24 hours. It has been, I couldn't even tell you how long, honestly. Um, I ended up just having to dump this out because it sat for a while. Some of it got like black little burns on it because it sat, but it did get a lot whiter. Um, yeah, I just did a lot last month and it is currently, November now. Took a lot longer to make this video than I thought, but I finished it. So I will show you what I kept since I didn't keep the whole bird, but I am really happy with what I have. What I am ever going to do with this, I don't know. But I kind of kept the parts that I've never really gotten to see much of because like I didn't keep the wings and stuff like that. I have like part of a wishbone, but yeah, so I have this. So there's that piece. There, I just think it's so neat. Um, like it really shows a lot of the detailing of like bone structure, which in cells. And I've always been like geeky nerd, like chemistry, biology, maybe not so much, but it's a lot cooler to see it like up close. Anyways, so there's those pieces. 
And then I have the head. So there's that. And I still have like its jaw piece here. It goes about there. Oh God. But yeah, so I have these, what I will never do with them. I don't know, probably I want to work them into like art somehow. Um, and the wishbone. Like my camera's probably even focusing on that. But yeah. That is what I ended up keeping. They're all sanitized, bleached, like they are clean now. It's like really, really cool if I can get it. Like this skull is so soft. So, 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 so soft. I don't know. It's cool to me. Anyways, yeah, thanks for joining me on this process with the bird and the dead bird. I've been called Jeffrey Dahmer. I don't know how many times throughout the process of me talking about it and whatnot. But um, yeah, it was an experience to say the least.